Both Christianity and Islam teach that there are powerful dark forces at work all around us. If someone is clearly being influenced by these dark forces, how can we trust what he tells us about God? According to Muslim sources, when Muhammad received his first revelation in the cave on Mount Hira, he believed that he was possessed by a demon. And if you read what the Muslim sources say about how Muhammad received his revelations, you'll understand why he thought he was possessed. His encounters with Gabriel sound like something out of an exorcist film. Muhammad's face would turn red, his heart would race, the veins in his neck would swell up, his shoulders would tremble, he would come down with a fever, his lips would move rapidly, he would hear ringing or voices, he would sweat profusely, even in the cold. According to Muslim sources, once Muhammad became convinced that he was demon-possessed, he tried to commit suicide by hurling himself off a cliff. According to Muslim sources, Muhammad delivered revelations to his followers promoting polytheism, the infamous satanic verses. After a while, he came back and said that Satan had tricked him into delivering these verses. Apparently, Muhammad just couldn't tell the difference between inspiration from God and inspiration from the devil. According to Muslim sources, Muhammad was the victim of black magic that gave him delusional thoughts and false beliefs. This is crucial because the Quran tells us that magic is taught by demons. Since magic was successful over Muhammad, demons had power over Muhammad. I can't imagine someone less reliable on a spiritual level than the Prophet of Islam. Paul, by contrast, was not a helpless victim of demonic attacks. Demons were victims of Paul attacks. Paul would cast them out. Paul became so famous for his ability to cast out demons that other people tried to cast out demons by saying, I cast you out in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. This didn't work because you have to actually know Jesus in order to have that kind of spiritual authority, but it shows that Paul's power over demons was known even among non-Christians. So, Paul had power over demons. Demons had power over Muhammad. Transitive property. Whom should we be listening to? Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In case you stumbled upon this video while browsing or searching, I wanted to let you know that it's part of a series comparing Paul and Muhammad. So if you'd like to see the full series, be sure to click on the playlist. If you're already in the playlist, you're about to see that while Paul performed numerous miracles, Muhammad performed none.